I've had a few people ask me how I am able to make uh, my video blogs and webinars. So I thought I would tell you. I'm using something called Loom, L-O-O-M. I got it, free download from loom.com. There is a paid version, but I'm using the free, free version. I've got Loom running right now. As you can see, it's recording me. I'm too lazy to move my computer in front of my monitor so you get a full on shot. But if I did, then you would see me right now. I'm looking at my laptop. So it's recording me and it's recording my computer screen. So watch what happens because I'm going to go to loom.com. You can see I'm opening my browser, typing in loom.com. And here we are. Hey, I can get notified when somebody watches or replies to one of my videos. The video that I'm making gets stored on loom.com. I also download it and put it on YouTube. I'm going to say not now. Now, right now, we are in my account at loom.com. I have a bunch of videos. There's also, as you can see, how to use Loom. So, you know, this training program there. Not difficult to use. You just start it up. It counts down three, two, one, and beeps. And records your computer screen, which often, in my case, is a PowerPoint presentation that I talk over. So it records you. I could make myself disappear if I wanted to. So you don't have to show up in your videos. So it could just record the PowerPoint, record your voice. When you're finished, you see this orange button here? I would click on that and the video that I'm making would be saved to Loom. It processes it, turns it into a video which you can then download to your computer. It gives it a name, Loom Video 1, whatever. Uh, you can download it to your computer, give it your own name. If you have a YouTube channel, you could upload it to YouTube. Or you could just simply keep it on Loom and invite people to watch it there. If I wanted to, I could pause. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to pause. So I pause, and then there's a play button. I can click on it and start to play. Now you notice the screen is different. While I was paused, I logged out of my account, which then let me go to the loom.com homepage. So you see you get Loom for free. Get Loom for free. I could sign in here. So what you do is go to loom.com, get Loom for free, then you will have to log in and create an account, record your video, click on this orange button, not the pause button, the orange button, which would stop it and upload the video you made to Loom. Takes maybe five or 10 minutes for the processing to happen and you will see it happening. Then there's a little icon you click on, you can download it and have it on your computer. So you've got the video on your computer. You can share it on YouTube as the video. You can share it on Facebook or other social media sites. I like to share it on YouTube and then go to my various social media accounts, describe the video, put the YouTube link, and let people go there to see it. So if I want, again, I could pause it. If I screwed up this video, I thought, oh my God, I don't want this. I could trash it. And there is a pro version. Um, I honestly don't know what the pro version gives you. I don't need it. Um, yeah, I clicked on pricing. Let's see. So you can see, you're seeing what I'm doing on the screen. So for pro versions, you get advanced recording and editing, costs you four bucks per month. What I like about Loom is 
I don't have to edit this video as long as I'm happy with my tape. Now, if I want, I once I've downloaded it, if I want to edit it, I can. If I think, oh, I ended that abruptly, I should add an ending, I can actually record my ending on Loom, download it, go into my video editing software and add the ending to it. But for the most part, what you see is what you get. I don't edit my videos. Here, let's go full screen. See that? I clicked on full screen. There I am, larger than life. Usually I'm nice and small. The reason I'm nice and small is because typically I have a PowerPoint uh, happening. And so I don't want to interfere with the PowerPoint. So let's see. Oops. There I switched to a photo. I forgot you could do that. So if you want a picture of yourself, you can do that. Going back to the video. Uh, there we go. Now I'm nice and small again. So it, typically, though, and I just want to show you. Here's my PowerPoint. See, if you want to conduct computer training, you can click around on different things on your computer while you're talking over, telling people what you're doing. And Loom is recording the screen and your image. If you want, you can get rid of your image uh, and your voice. So here's PowerPoint. Now, if I wanted to do a webinar, here is my most recent webinar called Chunking, what to do and how to get things done, especially while self-isolating. If I wanted to record this webinar, I would open the PowerPoint. Then I would open Loom. Loom would appear in a little rectangle in front of the PowerPoint. Once I click on record, Loom does a countdown, three, two, one. You hear a beep, and that means you can start talking. The Loom rectangle disappears, and people can see your PowerPoint. So I'll we'll go to slideshow from the beginning. And this is typically what I do. Record my voice and my PowerPoint. Chunking, what to do and how to get things done, especially when self-isolating. Who am I? I'm Paul Lima. I'm a writer, trainer, and author of 22 books, mostly about writing. If you want to know more about me, you can go to my website, paullima.com. Now, I'm not going to take you through the whole chunking uh, video. There's really no point. You can go to paullima.com. Although today, uh, April 8th, you couldn't watch this particular video. I haven't put it on my website yet. But it will go up in a day or two. But if you went to paullima.com uh, forward slash pay what you can, P-W-Y-C, paullima.com, P-W-Y-C, you can see all my pay what you can videos. By the way, I'm not trying to sell you anything. During this coronavirus pandemic, you can take any of my pay what you can videos, mostly about writing. Guilt free, don't pay a damn thing. I'm not asking for money. I also have multiple sclerosis and I have, I think, six or seven free videos uh, about issues pertaining to MS at paullima.com forward slash PWYC. Uh, so that's a little bit about me. That's a little bit about Loom, which we get at loom.com. So you can download it, record your audio, your video, yourself if you want. You can be full screen. Uh, you can be not at all. I can make myself disappear. Have your PowerPoint, or if you're doing computer training, Loom will literally let you um, change your computer screen, and it records it as you go. You know, if I wanted to show people how to use Microsoft Word, for instance, I'm opening Word. So you see, there's Word, and I can say, to use Microsoft Word, put your fingers over the keyboard and type. And there we go. Things are happening. To close Word, click on the X. Did you like what you typed? Do you want to save it? Save, 
click on yes and ensure people how to give it a file name. In this case, I don't want to save it. So I make disappear. And there we are. Loom is recording us back to the full screen. Again, if I didn't like my video, I could trash it. If I wanted to go pro, which I don't, I could go pro. I could pause it, which I've demonstrated to you. And when I click on this orange box, what you won't see, because that ends the recording, what I've done so far will be uploaded to Loom. Loom will process it. And I get to see it being processed. And then a little icon comes on the screen that tells me the video is ready to be downloaded. I download the video. It goes into my download file, which I am in the way of. So it goes into my download file. I don't have any files that I've downloaded from Loom because I give them a new name and then I save them in another file. So just to show you, I save them in my training file. I have pay what you can. And I also have podcasts and vlogs. So there's my chunking PowerPoint. And there's my chunking video, which I have uploaded to YouTube. Chunking, it's, it's what you do when you want to actually accomplish a big task. You chunk it into a series of little tasks. Gee, I'd like to read that. Well, notice I have a chunking promo text. So I will we'll open that. I have a little description about the video. This is something I've written. If you want to see it before it gets uploaded to my website, go to https colon forward slash forward slash triple w dot youtube dot com forward slash. Now this is the important thing. W A T C H question mark V equals capital V N M five W V D lowercase F nine dash C and you can see the video chunking what to do and how to get things done especially while self isolating. But if you wanted to see some other videos, hey I missed that. I didn't get the the name, but I want to see some videos. See I'm moving myself out of the way. Let's go to some other videos just to show you what I've done. Here we go. paullima.com forward slash pwyc. Pay what you can in free webinars and vlogs. So become an efficient, effective and efficient business email writer. This I cannot give to anybody for free because this a uh, particular training session, it's a five lecture section, is being sold by Udemy uh, and they process payment and stuff like that. But anything else on this page, tell your story, how to write memoirs and autobiographies. Normally pay what you can if you want to take it free on the house. Uh, how to do what you want to do and figure out what it is you want to do how to develop your business vision. Hey, if you're thinking, well, self-isolating, I want to create a, a new business and creating videos will be part of it. Blah, 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 whatever the new business is, a training business or whatever. I would highly recommend you, you view how to develop your business vision. In fact, if we click on the link, Okay, as you can see, things are moving. We're now on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I've uploaded this not to YouTube, but to another site called bigmarker.com. Most of my webinars are on YouTube. This happens to be on Big Marker. I'm going to click on the start, and now there's going to be voice competition. So I'm going to shut up.
So I believe you would have heard that. I'm speaking into a microphone. I don't know if the mic picked up the, the sound, but as you can see, you don't see me. This is an actual video that I created using Loom. You see my PowerPoint and hear my voice. So I made it with Loom, uploaded it to Big Marker, which is a webinar website. I want to show you a YouTube video. Again, although the business vision payment is free, but I'm saying even the videos, which I have a suggested payment free while we're in quarantine, if there's anything you're interested in, feel free to take them. So I've gone back. These are pay what you can videos. I've also got some podcasts and that. So here's a video, almost everything you need to know about MS. And as you can tell, we're on YouTube. So here, as you can see in my MS video, one of six or seven, I have moved my camera so that it's in front of me so that I'm speaking to into the camera. And hey, I know low production values. I mean, I get it. I'm not big on video. But if you know anything about making video, you can jazz them up. You can make them look really spiffy. You can have better graphics and stuff like that. Perhaps you've got a better microphone, uh, better, you know, I use my webcam, you have a better camera, and you will look more professional. And if I wanted to, I could click on, um, what's his name, Stephen Colbert, I believe, his video, and you would see and hear that. In other words, Loom records, well, let me show you, Loom records, So just to show you, Loom records whatever is on your screen. So if I close my browser, Loom records that, we're back to my desktop. So again, Loom.com, download the free app. There it is sitting in my, uh, I think this is called the taskbar, because I fired it up and started this recording. I'm going to end the Loom video. It's going to upload what I have done to Loom. Loom will convert it into a video file, which will then I will then download to my computer, give it a new name, and upload it to YouTube. So if you want to make videos, go ahead, Loom.com. And just to show you, yeah, you can adjust the video. Again, my production values are very low. Uh, you know, I basically stick the uh, camera in front of my my face, and I speak into the mic, which was which is on my headset, and make the video. Send them off into the cyber fear. You know, post a link to them on YouTube, on Facebook, and Instagram, and uh, LinkedIn, and other social media sites. People watch them. You don't like the lamp and the radiator in the background? You set up the camera wherever you want to set it up. So you will look like you look like you want to look. You want to be full screen? Go ahead. Loom lets you go full screen. You want to be small? Go ahead. You want to disappear? Hey, where did I go? I'm no longer there. But if I had a PowerPoint, then your focus is on the PowerPoint, not on me. So once again, that's Loom.com. You too can create videos fairly easily. I'm not an under the hood kind of guy. I am doing this, have learned how to do this with Loom. I think I've made uh, a dozen, maybe 15 or more videos. I don't know how to make myself come back. <laughs> that's one thing about making yourself disappear. So I can't make myself reappear. Anyway, I'm going to click on this orange button. The video will come to an end. 
it will be uploaded to Loom. I will download it, put it on YouTube, and share it with the world. YouTube can become a video maker. And maybe you'll make the first coronavirus TV series or first coronavirus movie, just you talking to the world. Because when you're self-isolating, what have you got besides your voice, your image, and your computer? Anyway, there's, there's my challenge to you. Let's see you make a movie. Anyway, take care. Be safe. Bye-bye.